And to just, let's contemplate on salah a little bit. This act of worship has virtues in it by itself. You doing salah is a virtue. And inside the salah, there is a virtue. It gives you a virtuous time when you are doing sujood. When you're doing sujood, it's a sunnah to do dua. Do dua to Allah generally. That's a virtue. Tayyib, before salah, doing wudu is a virtue. Sah? Get rewarded by it. Tayyib, walking to the salah is a virtue. For the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, well, for every step you take, you get rewarded. And for every other step you take, uh, a sin will get erased. Allahu Akbar. Tayyib, after the salah, you do dhikr. You get rewarded. Be before the salah and after the salah, there is nafila. There is another salah that you pray. That is also very, very important. And it, it's also a virtue. And it gives you a reward. Look at all this. Between the salah and the salah, Allah will erase your sins. Between jum'ah and jum'ah, Allah will erase your sins. Every celebration we do, there is salah. Eid al-Fitr, salah. Eid al-Adha, salah. Kusuf, salah. Jum'ah, salah. In, in Ramadan, taraweeh. You notice that salah is a big part of a Muslim's life. And that's why it is very, very problematic if we say a Muslim doesn't pray. And you cannot, how can a Muslim, a, a person who has iman in his heart does not pray? Cannot.